This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You've got the Dow up 31, S&P's up 6, NASDAQ 100 is up 46, NASDAQ Composite up 42. You've got the Russell down 18 points, a little over 1%, 16 points for the semis. That's a half percent, 8 tenths percent for the trannies, 119 points to the downside. We've got gold trading off 12 bucks, silver's off 19 pennies, light through crude is up a buck. Natural gas off 24 cents. That's a 7% move to the downside. 30 Treasury off nearly one point. Trade out at 112.24. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. What do we know? We know that price on Friday and on Thursday closed above the top of its slightly bearish structured profile. That suggests a further run higher. There's resistance up at the 44.30.50 level, there's trend line resistance as well. Now, we did see an ES Mini that traded higher, closed higher than the prior close for five consecutive sessions out here. We may close higher today, but you got to expect and anticipate at least a couple of day retracement. Spot volatility still below its 50 day exponential moving average. That puts the wind at the back of the sales of the bulls and the buyers for the SP 500. The NQ running right up into that trend line resistance. Now, there's several little trend lines that are going there. Uh, it also has resistance up in a prior swing at 15,468. U.S. dollar index on Friday had a big move and closed just below the bottom of its weekly profile. If there's a change in trend, we'll see a second close this week below 104.98. If we take a look at Goldilocks and silver, really just consolidating between profile levels. In the case of silver, it's really between a rising and a falling trend line area out there. If we take a look at Lightspeed Crude, Lightspeed Crude might be targeting 7851 and 7851 is its breakout level it is trading right now at its profile area the bottom of that profile where the buyers are hanging out is 81.44 price right now at about 81.58 if we take a look at natural gas it did form or it is trying to form a new daily profile today and it's trading below that Natural gas is a little booger. I say we all come back to natural gas in January, January, February, when its favorable seasonal cycle begins out there. Otherwise, this is just a psycho. But if we take a look at the 30-year Treasury, what it had, has done, it formed that nice Rosemont indicator bottom, and that led, it has led, to a consolidation between profile support and resistance. Resistance up at 113.19, we saw that tested on Friday, again tested this morning, support down at the 107.27 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're about to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.